We've already created a few files and directories, but we need a couple more. We don't want to create them all from scratch, so let's make copies instead. In the Windows GUI, all you need to do is right-click, copy, then paste. You can also use hotkeys if you want. A hotkey is a keyboard shortcut that does some sort of task. In Windows, the hotkey for copy is Control C, and for paste, it's Control V. In PowerShell, the command used to copy something is CP. We also need to add a file that we want to copy and the path of where we want to copy it to. Let's copy mycoolfile.txt to the desktop. There you can see my cool file.txt was added to our desktop. I have a few of these files I want to move over, but I'm feeling a little lazy and don't want to run this command over and over again. So I'm going to use something called a wildcard to help me copy over multiple files at once. A wildcard is a character that's used to help select files based on a certain pattern. Let's say I want to get all the files that were JPEGs and copy them somewhere. I'm going to go into my documents directory. I have files called hotdog.jpg, cottoncandy.jpg, and pretzel.jpg. I need to come up with a pattern to help me select all these files. What do they have in common besides being named after delicious food? The .jpg extension. Literally anything else can be in front of the .jpg file extension and it won't matter. That's what the wildcard asterisk does. It's the pattern for anything. So I'm essentially saying select all the files with the pattern anything.jpg. So to copy over all the JPEGs in the folder, I can use cp, the asterisk symbol, dot JPEG, and the path I want to copy them to. Let's just verify. There it is. Now instead of copying files one by one, we can use a single command to get all the files we want. For now, the only selector we'll be using is the asterisk for all. Next up, let's say I want to copy over a directory. I'm going to try to copy a folder called bird pictures to my desktop. Let's just go back into documents. There's bird pictures. Now I'll copy bird pictures to desktop. Now this does exactly what we told it to do. It copies the directory. However, this, this directory is empty. What it doesn't do is copy over the contents of the directory. To copy over the contents of a directory, you need to use another command parameter, recurse. The dash recurse parameter lists the contents of the directory. Then if there are any subdirectories in that listing, it'll recurse or repeat the directory listing process for each of those subdirectories. We'll need to use the dash recurse parameter with copy to copy the contents of the directory along with the directory itself. We're going to use a new parameter, verbose. Copy doesn't output anything to the CLI by default unless there are errors. When we use copy-verbose, it'll output one line for each file of the directory being copied. Let's give it a try. Copy bird pictures. And then the recurse and verbose flag. This just message says that we've already copied bird pictures. But what we didn't do was copy over the file, which is now here. Excellent. Now the directory and all the contents are copied to my desktop. 